Hi there, my name is Bryson Jack, and I'm redoing a tutorial that I did on how to take uh, separate objects with separate materials and separate images and put them all onto a texture atlas. And this time I'm just going to do it in Cycles Render instead of in Blender Render. Uh, there's only a few slight differences, but I'll just go ahead and show how to do that as quickly as I can. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do here is just to create four unique objects. and so. I'm going to select this right here and I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to hit U and I'm going to unwrap it. And I'll just go over here, split the window and uh, change it to the UV image editor so that you can see that's been done. Alright, so now what I'm going to do for this object here is I want to create a material, a new material. So I'm going to call this cube. Alright, and then I need to uh, assign, a, put it, add, a, add a texture to the material. And so what I'm going to do is just change this to the node editor right here. And uh, there's a couple ways to do this. I could hit Shift A and I can go to texture and then I can go to image texture. Or if you've got your window open, you can go ahead and just drag your image in to the node editor and then connect the color to the color right there. Okay. So the point is that I've just created a material and I want to be able to see it, so I'm going to come down here to the viewport shading and just click on texture. Alright, so now I'm going to hit Shift D and move that one over. And so what I want to do now is I want to click on this right here, this number, to make a single user. And I'm going to change that to cube 2. So now you can see I have two unique materials. For this material right here, I just want to click on the directory. I'm just going to go ahead and change the image. I'm going to hit shift. Actually, uh, really quick one one step. Let me uh, let me just delete that. Start over. On uh, I'm going to go back into edit mode here. And so since these are upside down, I'm just going to hit uh, Control and Alt, and then I'm going to right mouse button click. So I select all those. And I'm going to hit Control F and rotate the UVs, and then Shift R to just repeat. Uh, what I did. So now I just got them all straight. That's not really that important, but you know, it's nice to do things right. So anyway, Shift D, X, move it over. Okay, so let me get rid of this one. So now there's just those uh, those two. All right, that that one will just go away. So we'll just ignore that. Anyway, um, change that. Shift D X, move it over. Rename it. Add the new image. Shift D one more time. Okay, so let's. So we've got it all set up. Uh, we've got four objects. Each object is using its own material, and within each material, each object is referencing a different texture. All right, and then that one right there says zero because it's not being used. So just ignore that. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to enable the texture atlas add-on, so that we can get all of these. Uh, we can get a new set of UVs on here because each object has got its own UV map and we want to non-destructively do this so we're going to go to file user preferences and then what you can do is um, here in the uh, UV section if you click on that you'll see some different objects and I just had something in the search field so it wasn't, wasn't showing up but anyway just click on the UV uh, texture atlas you can hit save user settings if you want it to always be available alright so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just select all of these and then I'm going to come over here to the property editors render panel and then I'm going to go to the texture atlas settings and I'm going to hit the plus button Okay, so this is an add light, it says add light map, but it's just a group, and I'm just going to leave Texture Atlas there and hit OK. I've already um, unwrapped each of these objects, so I don't need to auto unwrap it, so I'm just going to hit Start Manual Unwrap. 
So what that did now is it just added a fifth object, which is right here. And you can see if I move it, they're all together. And so on this fifth object, uh, what I want to do now is I want to to uh, unwrap all of these in in the texture atlas um, image. So anyway, if I go to the UV image editor right here, I'll just show you. I'm going to click on the texture atlas image right there that it that it adds, and I'm let's see here. I'm going into edit mode, and it's already unwrapped all right so I just want to go to UVs and I want to just go to pack islands and then I'm gonna hit F6 and I'm just gonna increase the margin a little bit just so that they're uh, they got some space all right so now what we've got is uh, this object all of these objects have been UV'd in one texture atlas and I'm gonna say finish manual unwrap and now it's going to go back to the original items, and they've all been uh, left alone. They're, they haven't been harmed at all. They just each one now has a new UV map called Texture Atlas, in addition to the UV map. All right. Okay, so we're getting close to the final step here. So for um, this material right here. Uh, there's one thing we want to do, and that I'm going to go to the, the texture uh, panel here, and where it says vector default. Actually, let me just go to the node editor so you can see what's happening. We could do this um, in the node editor, but if you just click on default right here and choose UV map, and then just make sure that that says UV map, and then just do this for each one of the objects. All right. So uh, back in the in the um, what is this panel again? Data panel. That's right. So in the data panel, if I if I click on the UV map, you can see that it shows properly. But I'm going to make sure that the texture atlas is selected for each one. All right. So this is uh, this is the one of the differences between the cycles render workflow and the Blender workflow or Blender internal render workflow. All right, so what I want to do is I want to create a new image texture node. And I can either hit Shift A and then Texture and then Image Texture, or I can just select uh, the texture node and just hit Shift D and duplicate it that way. All right, so this is not wired into anything. This is just on its own, OK? So all of this node work right here is for the material. And then this right here is going to be for the texture atlas. So I want to go ahead and just say Texture Atlas, and I want to make sure that that is selected. All right. So go ahead and do that for each image. I mean, for each uh, material. All right. So now that we've done that. We're moving on to the baking, so we'll just go to the properties editor, render panel, and then uh, baking right here. Uh, the other difference is that um, Blender uh, internal has some different options. Uh, textures is one of the bake type options, but that's not available here. So I'm going to choose diffuse, and then I'm going to uncheck clear. And I'm going to uncheck direct and indirect so it just does the color. And then I'm going to select all these at the same time. I just did that by hitting A. Uh, a but anyway. And then I'm going to go ahead actually and just go to the UV editor here just so you can see it. And I'm going to press bake. And what that is going to do is that is going to create an atlas map and it's going to have all of the uh, different objects textures on it. Let it finish. There it is. It's all done. All right. And then just to confirm that this did work and to set it all up, I'm going to go back to the material section right here. And uh, I'm going to create a new material slot, new material. I'm going to call this combined. I can call it texture atlas. I call it whatever I want. And 
I'll go back to the node editor here so you can see this combined material and so all I've got to do is just shift A and add the image texture and now we've got that texture atlas which is our new image just wire it up come on I can, you can do it what is going on here all right all right so now we, we see that there so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to each one of these I'm going to delete that one and I'm just going to make sure that uh, I put the new material on it so now you can see that all of these other materials have the zeros because they're not being used it's just combined the combined material on each of these all right so that is how you do it and uh, not too hard just a few little differences but uh, anyway hopefully that helps somebody and um, have a great day